I just need a Hydro character. I do need to start pushing him up a little bit. I'll take care of it. Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. This place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little.
What the? So it's such a large AOE circle.
last one second attacker. Wait, this ain't right. How did we end up back here? So we've been here already? 
Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? How strange! There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah, Paimon's heard that one before, too. So we're all familiar with the story, then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Unbelievable. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. You're up, Ushi. Go get the spirit. This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. Huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Inexplicable, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks! Uh, maybe we just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? No. Paimon's super brave. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the Traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just, Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> seems there's really no way out. <sighs> I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? No, ignore the red horns, okay? I, I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunt it. Uh, Hito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss, you've been found out. What? Me? <laughs> no way! What, are you kidding? <sighs> Stop choking around. Uh. If you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> Maybe I should make better use of my time. Add a little salt and some pepper. 
Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Oh, right. There are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yenfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes. I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. <laughs> <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelong. We split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to- No, and though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare if we can't find a way out. We may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm, an underground space with an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Yeah! Oh, right! Do you want to get in to help us? Sure! Let's give it a shot! Huh. Huh. No response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will... The one and only. Whoa, whoa. What's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? What? Wow. Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're complete. It's important to stay reclined. Even Ushi... Fine. You two... Uh, well, hold on. Is it still... Fine. Yeah, yeah, well... Hmm. Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. Try and stay positive. <laughs> yeah, there's... Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest.
Cloud longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again. Oh, all right, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Just a day? Now, it feels like we've been down here for months. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Yo, yo, thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out! I want out! All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day, I... If only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, Traveler, are you hungry? I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? It's definitely not me. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. <sighs> what are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon, are you hungry? Um, no. Hi <sighs> if that's the case... Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time. But how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or... Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't really felt hungry since. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an Adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Yay, you found something! I still suspect things can't be that simple. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary... Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here! Had to hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place! Need my help as usual?
there time for a quick snack? I'll whip one up in no time. Is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded super creepy. No. Yes. Wait, hit me. Top fight. Is some sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved.
No. If you're still alive, why would you become like this? I won't attack you. What? what? Oh, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him? This is actually a fun puzzle. Oh, 
It's always a Yaka when I'm switching. I'm like, God. I need her survive for like a second and she'd be like, Damn. Seems to be leading to another platform. Let's go and take a look.
Is that little dude called Xiao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? <sighs> oh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You. Oh, he finally said something. Oh! We followed your voice and found you here. But it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. <sighs> An illusion. Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> You didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence. Wait, something's not right. <laughs> something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! If he can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No, your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where did he go? Sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. <laughs> He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way. Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry, I'm invincible. <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. Okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shell's not here, but... Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bull Chucker. Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off her face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door's open, we are out of here.
Evaloni, be gone. You heard me. Get out of here. Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, all right, uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of it. Gave me the fright of my life. What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni. Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Oh, this place is so weird! <laughs> <laughs>